friends, I am Kanchan Sharma and I am Assistant Professor at Biani Group of Colleges in the field of Botany. Today we are going to discuss the topic Mutation. As you all know that mutation is the sudden change in the chromatin material and we include all the genes, all the chromosomes in our chromatin material. So due to sudden change in our chromatin material, what occurs? The metabolism of our body changes and due to which some phenotypic expressions also changes. So that reflect that this is a mutant species and it is caused uh, by the mutation. These changes are caused by the mutation. Mutation was first of all uh, discovered in Oinothera Lamarckiana and the term mutation was coined by Hugo de Vries in 1901. May. Mutations are broadly divided in two types. One is the mutation which occur on macro level and another is the mutation which occur on micro level. On micro level, the changes occur on the gene level. So such kind of mutations are known as the point mutation. Other are the macro level mutations in which we include uh, in the change in the number of chromosome as the change in the structure of the chromosome. If the change in the number of chromosome occur due to mutation, it is known as heteroploidy and if the change in the structure of chromosome occur, then it is known as chromosomal aberration. Now we are going to uh, study all these in detail. So first uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, heteroploidy. Heteroploidy is divided into two types. One is the euploidy and another, another is an euploidy. What occurs in euploidy? In euploidy the change in the number of set of chromosome uh, means uh, like in human being we all know there are 46 chromosomes. It means we are uh, having uh, twice n. Yani, uh, we are having deployed condition of chromosome, total of uh, 46 and uh, 2 set that is 23 and 23 in each set we are having the chromosome number. Uh, there uh, the change in the chromosome set uh, uh, occur in the euploidy due to which uh, three kind of uh, mutation we can see. First is monoploidy. In monoploidy, uh, the set if it, it was twice an earlier, it uh, uh, reduces to one set only uh, or uh, whether it was triploid or it was tetraploid, it reduces to one uh, set only. So it is known as the monoploidy. Another is diploidy, if the sets were more in number or less in number, but still they increase and or they decrease to a diploid condition, then such kind of mutation is known as diploidy. And another is last one is the polyploidy. Polyploidy is of two types. One is autopolyploid and another is allopolyploid. In autopolyploid, the same type of genomes, the same type of set of chromosomes are increasing in a genome. Uh, there is a classical example uh, of triticum estivum and triticum durum. In triticum estivum, like uh, uh, the condition uh, in triticum plant, generally the uh, genome condition is uh, twice n or uh, tetra n. Uh, the set of similar kind of genome get increases in it. So triticum estivum was formed. In uh, this, we are having the hexaploid condition. Like the same kind of genomes are earlier they were deployed in number. Now they are hexaploid in number like same type of uh, set of the genome are repeated for six times. So this is the hexaploid condition. Likewise in triticum durum we are having tetraploid condition in which the same type of genome is uh, being uh, the uh, same type of set of chromosome is being repeated for four times. So uh, such condition is known as autopolyploidy. Now we are moving on to the allopolyploidy. Allo means different. So as you can understand um, by, uh, dif uh, by this word that the uh, uh, here the increase in the number of different type of set of chromosome occur. And the uh, uh, very common example of it is uh, Raphinobrassica uh, which is uh, made by the cross between Raphinus sativum and, and Brassica oleracea in which and Brassica compastris. In Raphinobrassica it is uh, tetraploid and out of which the two sets the uh, two sets are from Raphinus sativus and two sets are from Brassica. So it will be wrote as A, A and B, B. Next is uh, triticale 
it is uh, made by the cross of triticum astivum as well as sickle cirilli and uh, this is hexaploid in nature in which two sets are from triticum and from sickle there are four sets. So uh, this is about the polyploidy. Now moving on to aneuploidy, uh, what aneuploidy is I would like to tell you that aneuploidy is uh, uh, like increase or decrease in the number of chromosome within a set. Like in human being we are having 46 chromosome and 46 chromosome is a diploid condition in which we are having 23, 23 chromosome in each set. Here uh, the number in each set are either decreasing or they are increasing. So on the basis of the decrease and increase in the number of uh, chromosome we have divided in the aneuploidy in two types. One is uh, hypoploidy and another is hyperploidy. In hypoploidy the decrease in the chromosome number occurs and in hyperploidy the increase in the chromosome number occurs. Now they are further divided in three types. Hypoploidy uh, is divided in monosomy, nullisomy and double monosomy. Like in monosomy only one chromosome from any of the set get decreased. Like uh, in human being as I told you there are total 46 uh, chromosomes and they are deployed in nature and there are 23, 23 chromosome in each set, in each set of the chromosome. So here in monosomy one chromosome either from this set or this set get decreased and the example of it uh, is uh, the Turner syndrome which occur in humans uh, 23rd uh, number chromosome uh, where only one chromosome remains. Uh, next is nullisomy. In nullisomy loss of two homologous chromosome occurs. It means two similar chromosome will get decreased from one set of the genome. Like here uh, there are two sets and two chromosome that would be homologous chromosome they get uh, decreased uh, from here. Next is double monosomy. In double monosomy there are uh, the loss of two chromosome only but uh, both the chromosome will be uh, decreased from another sets other other sets like one chromosome will be decreased from one set and another chromosome will be decreased from another set. So this is known as double monosomy. Likewise for the increase of uh, uh, chromosome we are having hyperploidy and hyperploidy is also divided in uh, three parts. This is trisomy, tetrasomy and double trisomy. As we have seen uh, the le uh, lack of uh, chromosome uh, just like that in trisomy uh, the chromosome get increased in any of the set of the chromosome and its example is Down syndrome which occurs in 21st uh, pair of the chromosome in human being. In tetrasomy uh, two chromosome in any of the set they get increased and in double trisomy two chromosome in different different sets they get attached like here they get attached in two different set of chromosome. So it will be known as double trisomy means trisomy is occurring but it is occurring for two times in two different sets. All about the hyperploidy hope my lecture benefited you and uh, the chromosomal aberration and point mutation we will study about them in my next lecture. Uh, thank you for watching and please uh, like, and comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.